It was in an earlier video where I said the condensing unit was hanging off of a pad. I said that the uh, disconnect hadn't been sealed. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the refrigerant hood has got a hole in it right there. See that? And we should have a rain diverter on the roof to keep water from cascaded down onto the condensing unit. apologize if those weren't in the other video that's the way it works sometimes first and second passes speaking of sealant look at the sealant around the pan for this flange right there is all those gaps between the pan and the brickwork should have been sealed but this is the water heater video this is the temperature pressure relief valve drain line and the safety pan drain line um, depending on which one is which the water temperature pressure water heater temperature pressure relief valve drain line should not be closer to the ground than three inches nor farther from the ground than six inches and then where it terminates where it terminates right there and then the safety pan should terminate no closer to the ground than six inches and no further from the ground than 24 inches so one or both of those these are too close to the ground walking around the east side of the home going into the southeast corner of the garage this is our water heater we have an electric water heater and because the electric load center is close enough to the water heater we do not have to have an electric service disconnect this is our water heater electric disconnect right here then the water not to be confused with the water to the house but the isolation valve for the water heater tank is right there parallel is on perpendicular is off we can see that our water supply lines are insulated as they should be and that we have dielectric unions now since this is, you can see we have a care and use manual for the water heater. Okay. Now since this is a non-metallic conduit, we should be seeing a grounding connection. And we don't. We do not see a grounding connection. So we're missing our grounding connection on our water here. It's probably on there inside. Probably. It's supposed to be visible. It's supposed to be visible. That's how we do it. No visible grounding connection for water heater. Just like the water supply lines are insulated, so is the temperature pressure relief valve. It's supposed to be insulated as well. With the same type of insulation. It come with a water heater, actually. This is the temperature pressure relief valve drain line. Okay. You're supposed to have an air gap in the same room as the water heater. A lot of people will just take the drain line down to the pan. And um, that's acceptable. I personally don't like that. I know that we're draining on the other side of the wall. The odds of you having a problem because you do not have a vacuum breaker in the same room with the water heater are literally non-existent but I didn't write the code so it's gonna make the report I don't know if I'd lose a lot of sleep over that but you do not have a vacuum breaker on there so I want you to know that the home inspector is here this is where we learned that the water heater was manufactured two years ago we're almost into 2023 I know the house is only a year old I know the water heater has only been used a year just like the air conditioning unit only been used a year but um, you know that's when it was manufactured and it's 50 gallons and this is your safety pan drain line and this is your care and use manual we'll just set this up here someplace just a little more so what do we learn our temperature pressure relief valve drain lines and safety pan drain line discharge too close to the house we do not have an air gap right here our primary our um, temperature pressure relief valve 
is not insulated. We do not have obvious um, electrical bonding is, is not apparent. We know it's here, but it's not apparent. Now sometimes people will put a um, blanket around their water heaters. Don't do that. You don't need to. Put your hand on the water heater. That'll tell you the story. You losing any heat there? No. Losing any heat here? Yes. Insulate this. Insulate this. And these should be serviced about every three years, by the way. And checked annually. And I don't check these because of mineral deposits in the in a new construction even, you know, with a, a new neighborhood. It could um, cause it not to close. And I do no harm. That's my, my motto. Do no harm. So it should be it should be checked about once a year, replaced every three years.